thrifting with my friend this weekend. I'm going to show you some of the fun things that I got. I'm going to start with things that I got for other people. So my daughter um, is a fashion blogger. She's an English major, getting ready to graduate, and she pretty much wears almost exclusively thrifted things, and especially vintage. And look at this cute, it's a almost tomato colored, it's orangey wool skirt. Isn't that adorable? Now this isn't vintage, it's loft, but it's a really cute little skirt. So I got her that, and then look at this thing. This does not have any tags in it. It's fully lined, and it is crazy cool. Let's see if I can get it up here for you. All right. So it's long, well not long, it's just below the knee length dress. You know what, I should put this on the dress form and show you, it's just too cool not to. Okay, it wouldn't fit on the dress form because the dress form has giant shoulders, um, like me, and the little, little tiny hips on this would not go over, so I'm hoping it fits my daughter. She's a pretty tiny human, so I think it will, but it has this interesting little keyhole here, this pretty mesh eyelash knit on the sleeve and the collar, and look at the zipper. It's not just any old zipper. It's not a sequin zipper, but it is a really um, high polished zipper. Pretty trim and stunning buttons with a waistline accent. Pretty cool. A few more thrifting things. These are things I got from my hubby. A really nice sweater vest. For him and pardon the crinkly rack sack sound look at this nice sweater look at the pretty collar it's really heavy that's super nice and then this one has a little tiny spot I need to repair it's a polo by Ralph Lauren it's another sweater vest and right here it's almost brand new but right here the stitching has come apart and that is about a two second little fix for me with a hand stitch so I got him three um, sweaters two sweater vests and a regular sweater and they look great and new when you buy sweaters you have to really check for holes um, and there was another one that I found that was really beautiful and it's a Jeffrey Bean, I think. It was a really nice sweater, but when I checked, it had little holes down um, the front. Now, if you buy sweaters, there's a lot of other fun projects you can do if you want to cut them apart and do other things with them. Um, but for just a few dollars, and it, these were from Goodwill. So like this sweater, for instance, was $5.99, and they were doing the everything green is on sale, or half price, so from six to three dollars. So this is an old navy sweater. Um, so I did pretty good. This one was only four for this Ralph Lauren sweater. This one was six. And does this one, it dockers. So pretty good bargains. More great stuff I thrifted. Let me show you this. This is peach. It's unfinished. It's fully beaded along the edge. Look at this. It's gorgeous. There's two pieces. Um, I haven't taken it apart yet. It kind of looks lo almost like a sari fabric, but it's sheer. It's a Georgette. Let me put my fingers in here on an edge. So it's a sheer Georgette. And I just think it's stunning. Now this is not a color for me at all. I, this is just not a color that I can wear. But I think it's gorgeous, and I um, my plan for this right now is I'm just going to line it with satin. I'm just going to finish the whole thing off with satin and make like a pretty throw that I'm going to either, I would like to lay it over my bed. It doesn't match my bedroom right now, but I'm getting ready to redo it. Um, and if I do, don't do that, it does match my formal living room area. So I'm just, at this moment, my plan is to turn this into a throw. This gorgeous piece of fabric was nine bucks. Um, for all of this beadwork. It's just 
I can't even tell you how stunning. So my favorite piece that I picked up. I also got, the, the reason we get went is that we're going to be um, using reusing fabrics like this for the art quilt th project my friend and I are working on. So we've got a bunch of fabrics for that. So I'm just going to lay these out so you can kind of see where we were trying to get certain colorations. And this is a really nice taffeta, iridescent taffeta dress. That could, I mean, if you're good at this, you could resell this. This was $4 for this taffeta cocktail length dress. Look at this. Another little sort of cocktail dress. One shoulder. Got all kinds of stuff. So I have sack, I have two sacks of fabrics. Here's a really nice um, old fashioned wears like iron polyester knit. Um, we spent a whole day. I'm just gonna pull all this up here. Look at all these colors. They even had beads. These were $2 a bag. This one was three. Most of them were two. And I'm sure we'll do some bead work. I bought, I just pulled out a bunch. This is the one that I bought. And it actually has some jewelry in there and beads and lots of things. My friend bought all the rest of the beads because she has a daughter at home and they still um, do stuff like that with her daughter. So that, this is sack one of fabrics. I'm gonna get out sack two, pardon the loud rustling noise. Look at this. Oop. It's uncut pillow um, curtain panels. Exactly, the, this is exactly what we wanted. I can't remember what this cost, $11. $11 for that. Here's another really nice iridescent long slinky evening gown. Um, just spaghetti strap, but there's a lot of nice fabric in here that we can work with. Here's another one. We don't know if we're gonna cut this one up. It had a lot of stuff in it we loved. Look at this. If we don't cut this up, um, we'll resell it probably. This was 10 bucks. Floor length, this is like a mother of the bride type, mother of the groom type dress. Look at all the beadwork on that. Um, another, we got a lot, quite a few, we were going for the slinky, satiny, things that look like rocks and ice and snow and sand. Um, so, here's another, this shirt's really cute. If we don't decide to use this one, I'll probably wear it. <laughs> it's a really cute shirt. This is just another curtain panel. Um, it's like a crinkle Georgette. And then another little fancy dress. But this... They left the thing on it. Oh, I see it's attached. Looky there. Lucky us. That's going in the trash. Um, look at that. Nice. This again goes with our th thought. So most of what we purchased, I have close to $100 on this table of fabrics and things, which is very reasonable. Like if I were just going to buy two shirts, I mean this shirt and one other would probably... I could easily have spent $50 just on the two shirts. Here's another really nice look at this. This is a windbreaker jacket. Um, so what we decide to use, we'll use. What we don't decide to use, we'll um, either give away or resell. So that's our, our fun fabrics for our project. I also got three sweaters for my husband. I got myself a really cute top. Um, I got that beautiful fabric to make a throw out of, so it's very successful day for around $100 for all that stuff. Um, so I'm pleased. So this is what we have thrifted so far. There was a lady, I'll just tell a story, there was a lady when we were in there who was doing something similar. She was buying like the nicest stiletto shoes and dresses sort of like this, sort of slinky clubbing type dresses and she resells them as her second part-time job and does really well at it. And if you had time, I could see how you could do that if you wanted to spend, this is so cute, look at this. Look at the sparkles on it. So we were trying to look for things that had trims and buttons that we knew we would reuse. And so, feel like it's pretty successful. Now we have to get back together and start working on our pattern, but that's, this is all the fun, exciting stuff we've thrifted so far. I forgot to show my favorite little thrifted thing that I got. It's hard because I'm holding my camera, but it's this sparkly shirt. It's giant and oversized. Super cute. 
I've been wearing it a ton and I'm just gonna see if I can pull this out. Can you see where the seam is? So that's sort of like the sleeve seam, the arm's eye is all the way 